I'm trying to say is how do Jews view Muslims? Jews view Muslims as believers, as perfect believers who have a portion in the world to come, who are our brothers, our co-religionists. Yes. You just have different customs than we do. Yes. And if you believe in something, and because you're a mumin, you're somebody who's believable, I can accept what you say. I can work with that. Yeah, I have no problem with that. That's oh, beautiful. Well, that's, but, that's, but first of all, I think most people don't know that. And yeah. that's, that's basically where I'm standing No, that's here. beautiful. I mean, I really appreciate that, that the Jewish people, like yourself, are willing to accept that Muslims are believers in their own yeah, way, please. in their own way, which is fine. My my question, initial question was that as a Jewish rabbi or as a Jewish student of the Jewish tradition, uh, there are clear passages in your in your books that point to an Arabian prophet, and you okay, accept that, right? I'm saying like, that's definitely possible. There's an issue. This is one of the things I discussed with the Sikh community in the Guru Granth Sahib in the scripture. Their main guru, the first guru. Guru Nanak, um, he praised the Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad, that if you really want to be sweet, then follow the way of the Prophet, referring to Prophet Muhammad. I asked them, the Sikhs, we have a, we have a dilemma. Have to, the, uh, yeah, let me, let me quickly explain. Somebody. Yeah, let me quickly explain. The dilemma is that if Guru Nanak is saying that Prophet Muhammad is a true Prophet, if he's saying that, then you cannot be Sikh. Why? Because if he's a true prophet, then he cannot be a liar, right? And if he's not a liar, he is the one telling you that I'm the last prophet. There is no prophet after me, right? If that's the case, then you cannot possibly follow Guru Nanak and believe that Prophet Muhammad is not to be followed. Because okay, Guru Nanak. How does that apply to Moses? Yes. How does it apply to the Jewish people? So if the Tanakh, the Jewish scripture, foretells the coming of an Arabian prophet in clear terms, in clear terms, okay that he will do X, Y, and Z. And all of those characteristics fit Muhammad perfectly well. And he may well be a true prophet according to the Tanakh. Then what uh, grounds do the Jewish people have to reject him as a true prophet? And if he's a true prophet, then he's the one telling us he was the last and final messenger. There is no other choice God to people but to follow him. Hundreds of thousands of prophets to different nations. Yes, but if he's a true prophet according he to the Tanakh, okay, but then he cannot be a liar. He can't be, he wasn't teaching Torah, and the Torah clearly says that if somebody's teaching something different than Moses, he's not for the children of Israel. So we're left with that.